for the last time in whites. Because I've been studying from 8.30. If I don't pass the exam. Hey, look at this. Oh my God, I'm gonna miss this so much. A very just, nice. It's the last Wednesday. <laughs> it's finished, it's done. So even though when you leave tomorrow, we may not see you, but there are bits of you here. Hi everyone, hi bichitos. I haven't talked to the camera in so long. It's been very hard to like talk to the camera and tell you guys what I've been up to. We're about to start the last week of the course. I did just wake up. Hi, morning. I am talking to the camera, yes. I am heading to a friend's house because she's practicing for her practical exam. <laughs> I'm about to get in. So we're gonna have dinner. We're gonna taste her menu and we've had like beautiful weekend it was like the most sunny and hot it has ever been since i got here uh so we went to the beach yesterday and it was just like amazing and we have just one week left which is crazy like we're gonna get into the lake T today's sunday and tomorrow's monday and yeah we're getting into our week 12 the last one it's very sad and emotional and just sad hi <laughs> I've been filming things happening, but I haven't been talking to you and telling you what's been going on. So here I am. I just took a shower. Today was the last Monday here in Ireland. It was the last morning in the kitchen cooking. And it's very emotional because like, I mean, it is, I'm not emotional yet, but I know it's going to be emotional at like, I know that it's going to be emotional at the end of the week. So like, yeah, literally I just made one of my suitcases. I brought two suitcases. I don't know why I brought so many clothes. I hate being a girl in that aspect. Cause like we always bring too much. I didn't need that many clothes and I still need to pack all this. I literally still need to pack all this and my computer and my knives and everything you see here, I still have to pack. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I don't know how everything will fit. And I'm just like dreading the airport moment. But I will be going to London after this for a week with a friend. So I'm really excited. Let me change, cause I feel kind of like, like weird <laughs> talking to you guys in my towels just work. cause it's coming to an end and it's so sad. But at the same time, I need more hours of sleep. <sighs> I need like detox. I literally got a mango, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. I never buy these many fruits, but like my body was asking for it because we eat so many, we eat so much flour and eggs and sugar and just like fat, 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 fat. My body can't take it anymore. And I literally can't take it anymore. I am kind of glad this is coming to an end. I mean, the only reason that I am happy that this is coming to an end is because I am not gonna eat this much. Like my pants don't fit me, my bras don't fit me. It's just a horrible feeling, like a horrible, horrible, horrible feeling. I just wanna go back to normal and just like feel good and sleep more hours and just be with my family and my friends. I just, I can't wait. So big. Yeah. Hi. Just a what are you doing? I am filming a video, but you can come join me. You are! Oh. Why, why are you filming? A very just, chase test? No, I'm just talking to the camera because I haven't talked to the camera in a long time. Oh, right. Hey guys. Hey guys. How's it going? So the thing about this week being the last week is that we have exams. We're having exams on literally the last day of the course. Like on Saturday, we have to leave and we have exams on Friday, which is mm, pissing me off because like, we literally have no time to like, just like hang around with everyone and just like have a good time before we leave. 
but that's life. It's gonna be an intense week because today we cooked in the morning. We had a demo in the afternoon. Tomorrow we have a demo in the morning. And we have the afternoon free, but it's not free because we have to study a lot because we have a practical exam on Wednesday. I particularly have my exam at 8.30 in the morning on Wednesday. I have to cook a starter, a main course, and a dessert, and a bread. And then I have Wednesday afternoon off and Thursday off. And on Friday, we have the written exam, but they have divided them in two. So we have like two separate written exams, I think. And we will be finished at around like three in the afternoon, I think. And then the school makes us like this end of course, dinner it's probably gonna be amazing and then they take us to a pub and then we have to leave on saturday before 11 a.m that's the last week if you were wondering exhibit exhibit a annie what does ireland have that america doesn't that you would like to have i don't know <laughs> you don't know no Yay, look at this! Oh my god, I'm gonna miss this so much. What does Ireland have that America doesn't and that you wish America had? America had less gun violence, less school shooting. Abortion. Okay, we're going with you. Abortion. Just, you know, fucking legal abortion. Honestly, what does Ireland have that the United Kingdom doesn't? United Kingdom? <laughs> England. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Why do you laugh at me? Well, just the fact that you're so close to the coast all the time. That's really nice. nice. So the event, like road trips are really, really good. Well, it's just the part of Europe. <laughs> My question for you is, what was the most difficult thing you cooked here? I was also really underestimating how long it's going to take you to cook a fucking salad. What's a fucking salad? <laughs> a salad. Three hours to cook. <laughs> a salad. Yeah. <laughs> what has been your favorite day on the course? What has been my favorite? Or your favorite memory? Oh, favorite memory. That pasta right now. <laughs> mm. Probably the sunrise and the sunset. Oh, oh that was such a good day. day. That was mm. awesome. It's the second night in a row that I'm heading over to, to one of my friend's house, which is kind of like my, my second home here. We're watching Love Island. I, I never used to watch reality shows. I hate them. I feel like they're just such a waste of time and so stupid. But this one, I don't know how I got, like I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed and it's Love Island night. Here we have Julian who's always cooking. Sausages, you're always, where are the sausages? Here are the sausages, you're Bangers always making- Bangers and mash. Huh? Bangers and mash. Bangers and mash. And this is the famous spot where we watch Love Island. Oh, it's starting! Yay! <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I have just woken up. It's like 6.30 in the morning. I shouldn't be up this early. My alarm was set up for 7.30 because I have my practical exam at 8.30. <laughs> but, oh God, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't fall asleep. And then when I did, it felt like I was like, like it felt like I had slept for like five minutes. And then I woke up at like 6.30 and I was like, no. And you know when you know that you won't fall asleep again? I'm just gonna start the day. I'm gonna go pick my flowers for my exam to decorate. Cause like, as you can see, they have a beautiful herb garden. It's amazing. And actually I'm not so mad that I woke up this early. Cause like there's no one up. And there's something so beautiful about like being up so early in the morning, especially like in a farm in the middle of nowhere in Ireland. I don't know, it's like I, you get to appreciate it more. So I'm just gonna pick some flowers, which I should know the names 
of, but I don't. It's so early that I don't think they're like open, open, you know what I mean? This right here is mint, which I need to decorate my granola. I am making some granola. So it's kind of scary. From the beginning, we've known that we were gonna have like an, a, a practical exam at the end of the course. Oh yeah, and of course, my skin is showing that I'm stressed because I'm breaking out. I haven't like, I haven't had any pimples during the course. And back in Argentina, I used to have way more and I don't know what it, what it is here. But of course, I had to break out during the last week. Oh God, okay, it's not, it's not, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. So this is the first garden and I'm heading to another one because they have more flowers there. And I want to pick some that are for my menu. So I'm gonna tell you about my menu. What they tell you is that you have to make up a whole menu. Oh, hi, up so early. Where are you going? The bread chip. She's gonna go make bread. If you wanna make bread, you have to wake up also like really, really early. She's probably gonna make it for her exam. Cause like if you can, you can make your own sourdough for your exam, for your menu. Hi, oh my God, a friend of mine is here. So like what I'm doing is a, you have to make a starter, I mean course and a dessert. For, I'm like, I'm doing, I'm doing a, a brunch menu. So I'm doing like yogurt with granola and fruits for my starter with a green salad because they always want a green salad. And then I'm doing eggs benedict for the main course and for dessert, cinnamon scones. And I also have to make a bread, a traditional white soda bread, which I have practiced, so I'm not that nervous. I'm just, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of exams. I just hate exams. I hate being tested. I hate being marked on. I don't know, I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. You're already dressed. I'm in my pajamas. So what I got here is sweet Sicily. I hope it is. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I should know. At this point, I really should know they make us learn all the herbs and spices and beans. Ah, oh, so many things, which is logical because we're learning about cooking in an organic farm. <laughs> um, but there's so many, like so many things that we have to learn. But it is kind of fun, like going by yourself to the gardens in the morning and just like knowing what's in front of you and what you can pair it up with. That's really interesting. Yeah, this is usually used for like decorations, maybe on breads, like you can put the bread on top of it. That's what I'm gonna do, I think. I don't think that I will be able to film anything on the exam, but I will try to take pictures if I can. I will show them to you guys later. Okay, so I've got my flowers, I've got my decoration stuff, and I'm actually really excited because I feel like I've picked some that are really beautiful. I mean, I know that I practiced my menu yesterday and I was like, uh, but you know what, it's gonna be what it has to be, like, I am not gonna be stressed about it, I wanna enjoy, it's the last days on the course, I just wanna have a good time, and I'm actually, like, really proud that I even got to this point, uh, cause it's a really intense course, I can't believe everything I've done, I'm actually proud, and I'm just, I just want the last days to be, like, fun, 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 and I should go change, cause, like, <laughs> I'm in my pajamas, but I still have time because it's like 7 in the morning and my exam is at 8.30. So I do have a lot of time. It is kind of emotional that I'm putting this jacket on for the last time here on the course. It is kind of weird. It feels super weird. And also the pants, which I am actually kind of glad that I'm not going to have... Yeah, I, I am kind of actually glad that I'm not going to have to be wearing this uh, very often anymore because they're starting to get tight. Like all of my clothes, <laughs> honestly, all of my clothes are so tight at this, like at this moment, I just, I... <sighs> we finally finished. We were in at 8.30 and they gave us three hours. We're done. This is my friend, Anthony. How are you? How do you feel? Uh, relieved. Relieved? Um, <laughs> a lot of things that um, I didn't realize that I was going to be under pressure about that I was under pressure, especially the bread. The bread? And then, of course, leaving my soup in the fridge <laughs> instead of 
putting it out for service, but it got out <laughs> and it's all done and everything tastes the way that I wanted yeah. it to taste. So it's really great. And now I'm done and I can study for the next day and a half. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, and what would you, if you have to give like a tip to future students, what would you say? Like about the final exam? Prepare, prepare, prepare. I would say Study. if you're going to choose an, uh, a menu, make sure it's something that you're very comfortable with. Mm -hmm. You practice, practice, practice and practice. do it a number of times yeah. before you walk into the yeah. kitchen so that you are aware of anything that may or possibly go wrong with it. Yeah, and I would say definitely like do something that you like and that you don't overcomplicate it. Just like do something simple that you're comfortable with, that you're confident in doing and just like enjoy it but yeah practice 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 another soldier <laughs> <laughs> exams today the practical exam oh god it was so stressful honestly i've never been more stressed in my life i am so glad that tomorrow i have a lion like i'm i don't have to go to the school or anything i'm just well i have to study but i can sleep all i want i will probably wake up at like eight in the morning because my body has gotten used to like waking up at that time at least i don't have to wake up with the sound of an alarm and i'm so grateful for that oh i can't talk anymore so we just finished the exams, everything, I'm so burnt out. I am so burnt out, but it's finished, it's done, out of the way. Oh, some people got COVID right on the last days of the course, which is really sad. Yeah, and they're just like leaving. They're not gonna stay for the last supper, which is like in three hours. And then tomorrow's Saturday and that's when everyone's leaving. It's just really sad because we can't, we're all like kind of like paranoid and don't want to hug, but at the same time we are hugging and like, I don't know, fucking COVID, it's like it's shit, it's shit. But they gave us some gifts. Well, you could choose between some of the gifts and I chose uh, some spoons, measuring spoons. And here are the spoons, measuring spoons. Okay. Hey. I need to finish packing. I'll see you guys later. Okay, bueno, literalmente que ya estoy lista para ir a la comida esta. Ay, no, estoy hablando en mi... I'm ready. I am ready to go to dinner. I did... <laughs> I don't know how I did this. How can I show you guys? Like, I don't like my dress because it was, like, really long. It was black and long and it, I looked like... I don't know. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Uh, so what I did is I just tied my dress up in a knot. And so now it's more tight and it's shorter. I feel prettier. I feel more comfortable with myself. I like the outfit more. So like before, you couldn't see my, like, any leg. And now you can. And everyone's outside. Not all of them, but most of the people are outside and they're ready. And I'm really excited to see everyone's outfit, even though it doesn't matter. But it's just fun because we've been like, we've only seen each other in like chef whites and sweating and tired and complaining. And now finally, we've all like glammed up. Is that a word? Glammed up? Hello. Oh. I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, oh my God, this is so cool. Wow. This is so cool. Uh -huh. Wow. Nice. Make your way Camera. 
Hi. <laughs> How's Caitlin doing? Of course you are. 100%. Are you actually How come you're fine? No. Yeah, I think that Jesus is coming up. Are you getting the family back? Yeah. Oh, I Bye. See you later. Have a good one, lad. Bye. I love you. Bye. Oh, fuck. Now it's time to go. <laughs> hey, guys. Best of luck with the rest of your lives, okay? <laughs> Goodbye. Don't it die. was a privilege and a pleasure for you to be part of my life with this yeah. part. <laughs>